Iraq's current Prime Minister, Nouri al-Maliki, is mentioned often in the secret files and sometimes not in glowing terms. In October 2006, Iraqi troops detained 17 suspicious men dressed in Iraqi army uniforms. Their captain claimed they were a special forces unit on an arrest mission. Detainees claim to be Iraqi special forces working for the prime minister's office. Iraqi Army HQ vouching for legitimacy of mission, and the mission was directed by PM Maliki. The Americans tried to interview the men, but they were whisked away. A number of reports refer to Maliki using special forces to carry out detentions on his direct orders. They are part of the prime minister of Iraq's office. They're not part of the command structure of the military. That's not a matter. And they have been used to, uh, to advance uh, certain uh, goals and objectives that the prime minister thinks uh, uh, are desirable. And they may very well have been used to advance uh, party and political objectives that are not necessarily linked to the overall security situation. In June 2009, according to the files, Maliki ordered the arrest of five senior Sunni policemen, all ex-Bathists. A US intelligence officer expressed concern. We could demonstrate that PM Maliki, who is rumored to be using his power to forcefully advance Shia interests in Iraq, is cracking down on Sunnis who he perceives as a threat. The fact that the PM ordered the arrest makes it that much more suspicious. Colonel al-Sheikli is one senior Sunni figure who has fled Iraq in recent months after political pressure. They wanted to freeze me out. Someone came to me and I was told word for word that I must either leave Iraq or I would have an ugly end. Those people are still there and indeed I had to leave Iraq. Although Maliki is a Shia, the secret files show the Prime Minister is not popular among Shia militias close to Iran, such as the Mahdi army. Numerous assassination attempts are made on Maliki's life, according to the files. As of early October 2006, alleged Jaysh al Mahdi death squad leader in Baghdad claimed to have been tasked by authority of a fatwa to organize the public assassination of Iraqi Prime Minister. <laughs> Maliki's main political rival, Ayad Alawi, also faced an alleged assassination plot. Coalition intelligence reports a car bomb. Hyundai Accent was allegedly brought into Iraq from Iran for ultimate use against former Iraqi Prime Minister Ayad Alawi. There's also evidence of Maliki flexing his political muscle. In May 2009, Nineveh's governor, involved in a power struggle with the Kurds, announced his intention to visit a contested area. P.M. Maliki ordered the Nineveh Operations Center not to assist in securing provincial governor's movement. Iraqi police secured his movement anyway. Despite the Kurds warning they would shoot the governor if he passed their checkpoints, the secret cable shows Maliki ordered the police not to assist him.